Full banger of Trey Way has been sentenced. His sentence is less than what the government had been asking for. Before we even get into the video, I want y'all to put it down in the comment section. I want to know what do y'all think about the fact that Judge Ingemeyer has been giving out sentences less than what the government has been asking for for basically every single person involved in this RICO. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, for everybody that don't know, Fool Banger, a uh, Fool Banger is a Treyway uh, uh, member, an individual that's involved in Treyway. Um, he had been sentenced uh, recently, just the other day, he was sentenced to eighty four months. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to say about this real quick. One is he could have been sentenced to more than 84 months. So the judge, actually, the government was looking for more than 84 months, but the judge decided to only give him 84 months. So there's a couple of things I want to say real quick for everybody that don't know who Fubanga is. Fu Banger is an uh, Treyway associate. He's actually the gentleman that came on this particular program and said that Shadi had snitched on him. Um, his uh, reasoning for saying that Shadi had snitched was because the government had received some pictures and some text or something, some text messages, apparently, but it was definitely pictures. And in the pictures or the text messages, whatever that the government received, it was from uh, Shadi's telephone account. So Fubanga, I guess, I don't know, you will have to speak to him, assume that Shadi had given the um, information over to the government. Um, real quick, uh, when we was in the courtroom, they actually had one of the uh, cell phone forensic people come in that do the forensics as far as with cell phone data. And they explained how you don't need to have the physical phone. You could have just went to the phone company and got the information because certain phone companies keeps in, keep information for a certain amount of time. So, um, yes, Fubanga is the individual who had accused Shadi of snitching. But, you know, later on after the accusations was made, we found out that there's a better chance that Shadi didn't snitch than that he did. It was just most likely just a really big misunderstanding. Anyway, so Fubanga was sentenced to 80 four months the government was looking for over 90 months fubanga was actually in jail for the shooting that happened at the barclays center for everybody that don't remember there was a while when casanova two times and uh takashi six nines camp and casanova two times camp were beefing and there was a situation where they was going to be at the barclays center at the same time because there was a fight going on between adrian brona and uh somebody else i can't remember the other person off the top of my head Anyway, there was a fight and each artist was supposed to walk out with each uh, boxer. So when it was at this event, Casanova ran down Casanova and there's video evidence of this. So there's no allegation of this Casanova and his people would seem to be about 30 or 40, maybe 50. It was a lot of them. I don't know what to tell you. They ran down on uh, Treyway and Treyway was only about six or seven of them. Um, at that time, it's um, said that Fubanga pulled out a gun when he didn't fire it. Um, one thing that I do want to say, shout out to Judge Ingumaya. Ingumaya did the Judge Ingumaya did decide that he was not going to that he he spoke about how there was an understanding that Fubanga did not fire the gun to try to harm anyone. He wasn't shooting at anyone. He was just firing like up into the air in order to get the people off of them because he felt like their they, their safety was in danger and judge Ingemaya actually spoke um said uh spoke on that and actually said you know um even though firing the air is a dangerous thing that it was commendable that he decided to not shoot directly at people and that might have led to the reason why he got 84 months rather than the 92 or 93 or whatever the government was asking for so um that's one thing uh, another thing that we want to say about this particular situation with Fubenga is um, 
Fu Banga particularly had a really tumultuous childhood, and that's something else that the judge has spoke on. Um, I believe the judge actually sp spoke on it more than once. Fu Banga, his apparently his father sent him out to sell heroin. That's the story. So I can't even argue. Like, you no, know, you have somebody that that's one of the problems that we have in our community. We have a lot of, and I'm not talking about Fu Banger or his father right here. I'm just talking about people that's supposed to be the OGs of the community, the people that's supposed to be looking out for the other people in the community. And instead of sending them in the right direction, they got them doing the bullshit. Um, they actually had to uh, start changing laws because there was a lot of people who were the OGs of the community that was sending young kids out to do crimes in America knowing that the young kids they wouldn't be able they wouldn't get you know you're only going to do a couple of months you're only going to do a couple of years you're only going to go you're not you're only going to go to Spafford for a little while you know if i did that same crime i'd get 20 years you do the crime you're going to get a couple of months so uh that situation happened so when we look at Fool Banger's situation as far as his father sending him out to sell drugs, I'm not sure if it was when he was already an adult or when he was a child, but at this point, we'll just assume there's a good chance that he was obviously of an age where he could be told to do something by his father and have no choice. Anyway, um, with all that being said, Fool Banger got 84 months. Um, there's a lot going on with this particular case still. Uh, we have Nuke and Hobbs sentencing coming up. A um, little bit later this month I will be at both of those hearings I was not at the Fubanga hearing I will be at both of those hearings um, Leave it down in the comment section I want to know what you guys think about this Do you think it's too much, too little um, Considering the government was asking for over 90 months And the and, um, Judge Ingemai decided to give him 84 um, Also he made a joke about um, <laughs> Shots are always missing at the Barclays And uh, <laughs> Judge Ingemai Anyway so um, let me know what y'all guys think and a whole totally different other question for everybody that make it this far in the video. I want to know, if you were on trial, would you want Judge Ingemaya to be your judge? As seeing the way that he's taken this particular case, um, almost every single person has gotten less time, that has, that's gotten time, has gotten less time than the government wanted them to get. Almost every single person. Judge Ingumaya has been giving people less time than the government wanted them to get. So I want to know. Leave it down in the comment section. If you guys was in trouble, y'all went to law, you did whatever you did, maybe broke a couple laws, I don't know, kicked a couple cats, walked Jade a couple streets. I don't have the slightest idea. But and you had to go to court. Would you want Judge Ingumaya to be a judge? I'm curious. I'm just curious. Do you think that he's fair enough? That even if you didn't break the law, or if you did break the law, or whatever the hell happened, would you be okay with him um, doling out your discipline? I'm just curious. Anyway, um, I want to know what y'all think about just the whole uh, Fu Banger situation in general. And I've explained this Fu Banger shoddy situation at least like a hundred times now. But people still seem to only pay attention to the one or two videos I made speaking about Fu Banger's situation or perception of the situation so i don't know how that works out anyway shout out to all of that stuff yo look i love y'all everybody um leave it down in the comment section what y'all think like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one i'm out if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.